take you to the fantastic world of art. Today we are going to perform two types of art, dance and music. Dance is a really strong way to express and tell a message because for example when you tell when you want to tell someone how important taking care of your teeth is, you can do this also. And yes, music. Music is also a very good way to tell a message because when it is catchy, it plays again and again in your mind and never goes up. So, let's start the show. We can use dance to show feeling by your on your side. You can go smaller and show how you're feeling. We can use music with big sound to express how you're feeling. And the our topic about dance is bully is moving proudly and bullied is acting small to show how they are feeling. It is important to it is important to do bullying because it's the people who's doing it directly to people. And we, and that is a very important thing because people cause suicide because of bullying. We can, for dance we did I believe it is our like opinion, but it's the thing we believe. And for artwork, we're working on our goals, and that is the, I, that is the most important goals that we need to finish. And we can we can finish these goals by 2030, and we can do that. Art is a tool where there are no right or wrong answers for it. And we all have the creativity to show our emotions and feelings about different issues that are happening in the world. Music is another great tool to express your feelings. It doesn't use words to express the emotions and there are a variety of points of view you can look at. And dance is a fantastic tool to express your emotion and feelings. And you can use your whole body to do it and it in a variety of ways. 5M has decided to do a dance about Global Goal 14 life on low water. It shows the situation of the ocean at first and the cause of it. Then it shows how it gets solved. And for art, we chose a global goal that we are passionate about. And we created an art piece that shows the message. For music, we made a song that represents peace and love called It'll Be Okay. I feel Global Goal 14 is very important to be aware because us human beings have to realize that the action we take that helps us is affecting the environment such as the ocean. Problem caused by us could be solved by us. Um, art is a great way to share our cultures and opinion. And this unit for art 5R is creating an artwork that promotes our topics. For example, affordable and clean energy or gender inequality. Our artworks have a meaning so that we can spread the importance of our goals. When looking at our artworks, we hope we realize our message and if possible, take action.
All right, Kai, what is your SDG? Um, so a cool seven, affordable and clean energy. So I'm doing a grim reaper coming out of a factory. Um, so CO2 is dangerous, so I wanted to make something that's scary to promote the idea of less CO2. Charcoal, pencils, markers. Um, charcoals are really good for like smokes. Um, my SDG is goal number three, um, good health and well-being. This is about basically, um, it's all, it's all a symbol of good, um, it also represents, um, good health and well-being. Mm -hmm. And now, uh, is this your final sketch right here? Yeah. So what are the changes that you made from your final sketch to your final artwork and why do you um, make those changes? I made those changes, I used to learn her health. But I erased the health, um, letter health, and I, um, then I wrote the symbols. Why'd you do that? So that it explain. It's an art, so it explains more better than writing. Hmm. What is your SDG? Uh, climate action. And what are you working on right now? Uh, so climate action. Um, we are uh, making the bridge that can um, connect to the nature. So I see up to. We're making so we're making um like bad things for like nature. Mm -hmm. And uh, someone looking at your artwork, what do you hope that they that they feel or think when they're looking at your artwork? Uh, so even even like small changes can make big difference in the future. Mm -hmm. Uh, goal number SDG goal number three, how good at the living. Mm, half is the art and half is the virus. Mm -hmm. Some else is the picking of art. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, how is your artwork thought provoking? Um, how do you think it makes people think? Half mm -hmm. is the virus in the art, in the half is the unhealthy, and half is getting unhealthy, and the art is going to the yeah. And what is your SDG, guys? Number, Number five, five, gender equality. And why do you decide to work in a team of three for your artwork? Um, because we felt like the more people, like, um, more the, the more powerful it could be, and also, like, there's more ideas, and, like, we could, like, um, make it better because, um, there's more opinions. Um, there's this rich man and this poor girl, and if you actually notice, the girl is the man's maid here, and like he's not paying her enough, and so she has to live in this place, mm -hmm. and like it's like uh it's like over exaggerating, but it's like to show it better, it's so like um that like we should treat women better. And uh, as a viewer of someone that's looking at this artwork, what do you hope that they take away? Usually, usually when you think of problems, you don't think about this. You think of global warming or something. But this is another big yeah, and problem. A lot of, some, some people like think like gender equality was like um, solved like a lot a long time ago, but it's actually not. My, my SDG is uh, goal number seven, affordable and clean energy. Mm -hmm. So I'm working on a, a hand-shaped sculpture. Mm -hmm. So the arm part, it's all black, it represents CO2 and pollution, but at the top there's green and all the renewable energy sources. And that represents it's the last hope to use renewable energy. Hmm. Why do, why do you decide to use popsicle sticks and hot glue guns for this? Because I think it's easier to create something 3D. Mm. The SDG is goal number 13, climate action, and this is like a bird. and. This side is like mm -hmm. pollution and like carbon dioxide, but this side is like happy and like there's trees and sun and flowers. Ooh. So what's the idea? Like that this side is like what's happening right now, but like this side is like what we want. And are you planning on using any art materials or just pencil for your final? I might do something else like color pencil, but I do like pencil and there's like lots of different types of pencils, so like even if I don't use other stuff, I can still do lots of things. Google 13, climate action. Climate action? And is this your final sketch here? Yeah. Okay, can you tell me about it? So like, it's same as Mona's, but without the bird, like there's one side just filled 
it's like it's fine and like we don't need to worry about anything but it's like this side is like what's going on in the real world right now mm -hmm. what do you hope that a viewer will take away from your artwork mm -hmm. by looking at your artwork take action and to stop pollution climate action it's like the global warming that our earth is on fire mm -hmm. and the hand means we need to protect our earth together and and yeah i use oil pasta and pencil it has strong color but actually it's not very clean So this is a song we made about peace and equality and uh, it took us two or three or one months and uh, I think it's about who we are and like why we wrote about the song and like uh, yeah I hope you enjoy it. This unit, we learned about the Sustainable Development Goals, or the SDGs. The SDGs are 17 goals created by the United Nations trying to address and improve our world. We each got to choose a goal that we were most passionate about and started researching and investigating. Some of the examples of the goals are climate action, gender equality, and good health and well-being. We then gathered all of our information and made a persuasive essay trying to persuade the reader to take action to help improve our planet. Please listen to Rainer read her persuasive essay and see if you're inspired to take action. Gender equality. Women and girls make up more than half of the world's population, and yet millions of women are suffering from gender inequality. More than 38,000 girls are being forced to marry at a young age, under 18 years old every day. This prevents girls from getting the good education they deserve. Some women work very hard to earn money, but still do not get the same pay as men, even if they're better. Gender equality is one of the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. This means it is a goal that the whole world is working on. For all the women who have died in the fight for their rights, we must take action now. All people, including women, should have the same pay if they are working the same amount. But this is not the case for many women worldwide. For example, the U.S. women's soccer team. They won the World Cup while the U.S. men's soccer team didn't even get to the finals. Although the women's team won the World Cup, they are not getting the same pay. They don't even get hotels that are just as nice as the men's. The men usually earn about $263,320 on average. And believe it or not, the women only get $99,000, even with winning the cup Another example is that women, women are doing the majority of unpaid work taking care of babies, kids, cooking, cleaning, etc. That means women are working just as hard as men, maybe even harder. 
It's just that most of the work that women are doing is unpaid, something they're expected to do. So men and, and also women don't recognize it for what it is, a job. As a matter of fact, a lot of jobs. That is a problem because women work just as hard as men. This is one of the reasons why we must take action. Some women or girls don't get a chance to go to school because their community needs help getting water for their families, doing laundry or cooking breakfast, lunch, and dinner. This means at least 493 million women can't read. Although, although many girls can't go to school because of all their community's needs, a lot, a lot of women do have time to go to school. They just can't because the school that's near them might be full and the teacher or headmaster might not want to go through all the work of opening a space in the school. Many of the girls who do go to school are not as confident in themselves as boys because boys are usually encouraged and expected more than girls. This makes them not believe they can do it or accept little of themselves and never really progress to a higher level. This is terrible because women deserve to be just as smart and have the same education as women, men or boys. After reading this, don't you feel we need to stop gender inequality? Don't you want to help all the women who have died in the fight for their rights? Well, here are some things you can do to take action. You can open up spaces in the schools, share your opinion on social media, YouTube, Instagram, etc. And also, and most importantly, all, support all the women who are suffering or fighting for women's rights. If you can't do any of these things, that's so okay. You can do smaller things like making posters. Any little action helps. It might even save the world one day. As Ruth Bader Ginsburg said, women belong in all places where decisions are being made. It shouldn't be that women are this exception. All people should be equal, no matter their gender. Women are suffering from gender imbalance, such as bringing their family water, cooking, and cleaning, so they do not have time to go to school. This disrupts their education. Others who do go to school and get a job usually don't get the same pay as men. This has to stop. If we don't take action to help women, they might as well have never fought for their rights and died. Thanks to us, they may have died for nothing. We have to take action for all the women who, who died just trying to get a life as a normal person. Again, we must take action now. Today we are going to show a dance about life below water. This dance is about telling a message to people who need to know life, life below water. Life below water is SDGUN Goal 14. This problem is a problem that people have to stop, and that is about oil, plastic, and overfishing. These are all humans' fault. We have to fix this problem until 2030. Ocean is a natural nature thing that we have to protect and so save. Two trillion fishes are already dying. Even though you didn't throw any garbage, we humans have to work together and make peace. So we have to stop killing. This is a dance we want to show to people. You might see ocean beautiful, but animals might see horrible. We hope you understand and know life below water is a problem. Now we start the show.
understand. We chose our own global goals and some are doing the project in partners and some are doing by themselves. We are doing SDG art projects. From our art projects, we can show how the world is changing and how we might help it. I hope you will understand when you see our art projects more and think about helping the world. Thank you. I'm working on, uh, on Global Goal 13 called the Climate Action. Um, and the, the, the biscuit shows uh, about, about the self love um, that, we, that, that many people are arguing about, about the climate and, and all the plants. What art materials are you using? Um, I'm using oil pastels and pastels for, uh, for the first sketch. Mm -hmm. uh, for, uh, for not, uh, not doing this. Uh, goal, goal, the goal is about uh, become a clean, clean or good room. Like, I really don't use a gas or like, don't use a gas or don't kill an animal or something. Don't is this, you, is this your final artwork or is that, are you still working on your sketching? Are you planning? Um, what art materials do you plan to use for your final? I think I will use some uh, pastel and uh, milk. Um, so I'm working on um, goal 14, life below water. And so right now I'm drawing like um, a broken heart. With first I'm starting off with like a sad ocean, which like this oil is coming, and then this person's like fishing, and then there's plastic and water bottles. And I'm planning on doing on this side probably just like a happy ocean with you know all the good things before it gets bad. I think it's thought provoking by kind of like because as it's broken, you still see the happy side, so it's still an improvement that you could still make our world happy instead of just like the whole thing. Um, we are doing mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we decided to do a bad side and a good side. Mm -hmm. the, um, in the middle, there is a door and it's opening. And it's actually going to open. Um, it's happening like peace. Mm -hmm. his, his hands are going to be like black and white. Mm -hmm. And so my goal is for five to that body. And I'm, I'm working on, on my final Okay, and how do you think this is thought provoking, Bailey? I thought this was thought provoking is because this is like a symbol for girls, I think. Mm -hmm. And then um, for me, this rainbow and then start my heart like um, is like peace for me. Mm -hmm. My goal is goal 15. Which is? Um, which is um, my phone land. Mm -hmm. And I'm drawing something like this. I'm pretending it's like nature. Okay, so you're working on your final artwork now? Can you explain it? So, yes, as you can see, there's deer that, um, <coughs> and I pretend this deer is nature. So what do you hope that people know when they look at your artwork or think or see? I hope people will um, know that well, um, nature has been written mm -hmm. by humans. I'm working on the goal of 14, um, life below water. Mm -hmm. and my artwork um, shows that the earth is basically dying because of the pollution and the oil spills that mm -hmm. human beings are doing. How did you create this artwork? So I first um, placed like this bowl mm -hmm. here in this cup and then I poured paint, this paint here. Um, like I created this like dropping kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And then after that I painted blue and green to show like the lands and the ocean. So I'm doing goal number five gender equality. Mm -hmm. And so what I was thinking is um so like the rainbow um is like um, freedom. So what I'm thinking is doing like um uh, a boy because 
um, people think that a boy is a blue and pink is a girl, but I feel like um, a boy and a girl can be any color. Mm -hmm. So that's why I have like a boy and a girl outside, but then in the inside, the rainbow colors. Mm -hmm. um, I got feedback from people like Taito, Kaisha, and Devano, and Kai M. Has that helped you? Yes, it is something it has helped helped me because like Taito, he told me that I should put some gender signs. So I decided to do the male side and then the women's side and then the equal sign. And then he on the top, like a, like an equal, like a male sign and the women's sign like combined together. Mm -hmm. What are you working on? Like a plastic pollution. Okay. I kind of restarted my drawing because it was not good, but now I, I made like this, um, a really big plastic in the ocean and it's making up this iceberg mm -hmm. so it's like it kind of tells how like plastic is taking over things and it's how it's like making a lot of things in the ocean mm -hmm. working on goal number two is mm -hmm. your hunger mm -hmm. and uh and what i'm trying to do here is like people reaching out for food but like there's like a like line of defense, like here's COVID, here's gonna be conflict and natural disasters, and they're like gonna be like blocking the food from like them getting it. So that's what I plan to do. And like I also added this like this um, fact, so to show how bad the zero hunger is mm. and why we need to like stop it. Mm -hmm. So my goal is no, goal six: clean water and sanitation. Mm -hmm. And like Stefano, like, I'm using his idea of, like the Hands, trying to reach to water and sanitation mm -hmm. and there's a wall of like things like money and other things basically it's this one mm -hmm. and so in this picture it says like money and like, conflict and poverty and it's like for the poor people mm -hmm. and also i'm trying to make another one for like rich people Music is a tool for social change as it has the power to express important messages to people. We all can play and when we can come together to play, we can share our ideas, thoughts and feelings about different songs. We created a song called Everybody's Different in Their Own Way. This song represents about people's different but in their own way. In the first section, we play the first part of our song and the second and the last. Together, we need to persuade people to change your mindset. We all have to be positive.
In five M, we have been writing a persuasive essay based on the Sustainable Development Goals, which is also known as SDG. We have been we have been writing one individually, but today we will be sharing Hiroyasu's persuasive essay. Hiroyasu's essay is about global goal number seven: affordable and clean energy. If you would like to see other students' persuasive essay, please go to the Five M Seesaw. Hope you enjoy. I'll be introducing my persuasive essay on persuading the mayor of Yokohama on using renewable energy. So here I go. Dear mayor of Yokohama, hello. Nice to meet you. Today I'm writing this letter to tell you that using renewable products can generate much more eco-friendly and affordable energy than power plants. Power plants use thermal energy to generate power. In that case, we need fossil fuels to burn to create heat. Using heat from flammable materials, the heat evaporates water, which turns into vapor. Then, while the vapor passes through a channel, at the same time, the vapor leaves away the heat source, slowly concentrating. As the vapor's density is heavy, it will plummet because of gravity. At the same time, it enters a chamber, and in the middle, there is a huge turbine. The heavy vapor plummets, pushing the turbine, which removes an AC generator. Generators create electric currents, and that's how power plants create electricity. Power plants are good for many reasons, but they also have their downsides. Power plants need to burn fossil fuels, and burning fuel releases carbon dioxide. However, renewable energy products does not. Renewable energy products use different kinds of energy to transform into pure in pure electricity. Some use photovoltaics, the power of the sun, kinetic energy, a physical energy that works to move another object. And geothermal energy, using the power of underground heat by pumping hot granite, basically lava, to evaporate water into vapor by moving a turbine. Last time we see that power plants need fossil fuels. Fossil fuels mostly aren't in Japan, and there aren't a lot. Even if you found a strip of gold, but all that wouldn't be enough to use for power plants. We have a steady supply of fuel to burn. We need import fuel from outside world. Importing fuel costs money, and it will probably decrease the economy. Renewable energy products doesn't need to use fuel. Meaning, if we use renewable energy products, we can reduce outgoings on imported fuel. Renewable energy products still will have two more fantastic points. Renewable energy products prices are now decreasing, meaning they are cheap. If renewable products are cheap, we can buy many of them. Blanket in Yokohama, but not necessarily. Blanket in Yokohama with renewable products mean we can power the entire city, the entire area, each house, each bowl. Another good news is that scientists have been engineering on how to rise the renewable energy products' energy efficiency rates. Energy efficiency is the rate of a renewable energy product's energy production continuation resistance. This means renewable products can hold much longer on continuing the energy production process. So, using renewable products have have many excellent points. One, it can stop Earth going to global warming by by not burning fossil fuels. Two, it doesn't need any fuel to keep it running. Instead, we use solar, kinetic, and geothermal energy. It can also save money. Three renewable products installation costs is getting cheaper and much more affordable. Not only because they are getting cheap, but the renewable products are now turning better into high quality products. Now we can know that renewable products are better than power plants. Now I have shown you the best of renewable products. Why not try to install it all over Yokohama? Yours sincerely, Harass Mikado, Five F. Dance, music, and art is a talent we all have. We use them to express our feelings and thoughts to other people. Grade Five G here has created a dance to share with you about bullying. This dance shows you the challenges people face when they get bullied. During the first section, we show you how you get treated when you are bullied. In the second section, we look at the discrimination between people. At the end of the dance, we finish with the discrimination ending and justice rising. 
Charles G thought this was something important to discuss because we still see bullying around the world. We wanted to create a dance about bullying to let everyone know about bullying and how to stop it. I feel like this is an important issue to discuss as I want to grow up in a world where there is peace, justice, and freedom.
means to express your opinion. With art, you can clearly tell what you think. It can change people's perspectives. You can share our thoughts and feelings in different situations. In art, we have created an artwork about the SDGs. All of these artworks are important because it can help with all the different problems. This is important to discuss because art can help people take action. I think art can change a lot of problems and spread a message to people. With art, you can create awareness and change people's perspectives. It's on goal seven, it's clean and affordable energy. This is a factory that burns fossil fuels. Not so this is Chernobyl, and people are protesting to not use Chernobyl and use clean, clean affordable green over energy. energy. Why did you decide to choose this sketch and not this sketch? As because if it's just oh. like renewable energy, the goal number seven is not just renewable energy. It's about like a places using fossil fuels too. Mm. So we could like use like make them protest to so like uh to like stop burning fossil fuels. That's one of the solutions in this uh, fossil fuel burning factory. So yeah, that's like okay. two. And what's your next step? What are your next steps? We're going to make, make a power uh, like this. Uh, SDG number 14, which is like bit of water. So I'm creating a fish with a, trying to eat a plastic bag. And that shows the dangerousness of plastic mm -hmm. and animals eating plastic, which can lead to humans being poisoned. What have you learned about working with clay? Uh, the slip, score, and blend. Uh, clay, it's, sometimes it's very hard, so if you, if it's very hard, you can just add some water to it. So my goal is the goal number six, like, uh, no, no, uh, clean water and sanitation. Uh, so my plan is to have, like, a, uh, cardboard. Mm -hmm. There's, like, a hand. Mm -hmm. You can still have the hand on the cardboard. It's kind of, like, 3D. And then there is a water right over here. Only one job and showing you how it's like important for the other person. So I wish I wish this artwork tells the people it's like it's only one job but it's very important for the other person. My STD is STD sweet mm -hmm. house and well be. Mm -hmm. So I'm working on the body parts that inside human's body. Mm -hmm. And body and try to make them in detail mm. using clay okay and um what is your what is your idea for your final artwork what are you gonna do with all of these clay pieces like i'm gonna like maybe paint them in black to mm -hmm. show that what happens really to human's body part it's inside human's body part my SDG is number eight the same work and economic growth uh, i'm planning to to like um do some to help some people on like a line and uh, and these uh, are the people that uh, fall down and um uh, it actually shows the the number of people that lost their work mm. because of the coronavirus. Why did you decide on clay? Because it's easy to to stand. <laughs> Okay, okay, thanks. Hayato, what is your SDG? Uh, mine's SDG goal number six, uh, clean water and sanitation. I'm working on a uh, face that has, that need, uh, or the people who are pleading for water because the water quality is uh, uh, getting better and better. Mm -hmm. What do you hope that uh, a viewer who looks at your artwork takes away? Or you hope that they learn or think about? Uh, I hope they think about uh, uh, the, their water and uh, not wasting stuff that they have. Okay, thanks. Um, Rena, what is your SDG? My SDG is clean water and sanitation. Mm -hmm. It's about people not getting full access to clean water. Mm -hmm. For example, if someone's poor, they might not get access to clean water, but if somebody's like is well off, they might have clean water every day whenever they want. What are materials are you using for this? Um, I think just pencils. Mm -hmm. And 
I think at the end I might like teach how to draw a hand. Oh, goal number 14, life below the water. So, so, this is like, this, this, this one's, this, uh, this one is like a turtle eating um, plastic, plastic bag. It's mistaken as a jellyfish. Yeah. Because they always mistake plastic bags as jellyfish. And these are um, those small, small plastics mm -hmm. that, um, um, those fishes ate it. Yeah. And this is a jellyfish. These are micro plastics. Well, we and are using, um, color, watercolor. watercolor pencils. And we're using cardboard. So, um, so these are the... This is like the background. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then like, we can put the trees and like, the kind of over there. And, and what do you hope that someone looking at your artwork will take away? What do you hope that they think about? I hope that they, when they look at it, they they think that they should they should stop using plastic bags. Goal number four, quality education. Mm -hmm. Standard quality, goal five. Okay. Why did you decide to work together? Here. Okay. You should go this here, and then there's a girl crying here because okay. she's not able to go to school. And then the part of your sketch. Mm. All right. And what art materials are you planning on using? This is pencil. Pencil. And uh, what do you what do you what are you working on right now? I'm shading. 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 What have you learned about pencils? Um, there's different kinds of pencils, and they have like different darkness mm -hmm. and softness. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. Today, Five Hill will play a song called It'll Be Okay in the Koro. The reason why we made this song is to represent peace for the people living right now. It took us a long time and a lot of effort. Hope you enjoy. In 5G, we have been writing a persuasive essay based on the Sustainable Development Goals, which is also known as the SDG. We have been writing one individually, and today we will be sharing Joshua's persuasive essay. Joshua's essay is about global goal number eight, decent work and economic growth. If you would like to see other students' persuasive essay, please go to 5G Seesaw. Hope you enjoy. What healthy jobs to have better economic growth? Imagine you're an eight-year-old kid working on a banana plantation, cotton making, or sugarcane cutting. 
Think about all the dangers and unfairness there are, like cutting yourself. Imagine all the health problems you will have while making cotton. When you are forced to work at a banana plantation, you get paid three times less as real banana planters do. The worst thing is, you don't get to see your friends, family, or get the proper education. I think no one wants to get injured or get paid three times less as real for doing the same job as other people are doing. Well, this is happening right now in 2020. I think job creation is crucial, and this is why. For uh, everyone will have a job, there will be fewer homeless people, and we can replace child labor with adult jobs. First, we need everyone to have a job. If we want to see people supporting themselves or their families, they need a job. They need people to hire them. So, and hire them, they need to be paid. They need to be paid. Well, they can't be paid 25 cents every hour if they only work for three hours. They need to be paid so they don't become homeless. We don't want to see people on the street because they don't have a job. We want to see a, pe a city where people have street uh, uh, people have jobs. We want to see people who can afford food, a home, and all the necessities they need. We don't want people worrying about running out of money or only being able to eat one meal a day. I don't think anyone wants to be worried about eating one meal a day. We don't want to see families whose kids can't get education they need. No, we want to see kids getting the education they need. We don't want to see homeless families or individuals. We want to see families or individuals that have homes. We want to see kids who can go to school. We need to help people who don't have a job. We want to help people so they could get that proper education they need. Think about all the fresh new companies and people coming in to get hired. And the more jobs we have, the more chance that people get hired for a new job so that they can get money to support themselves or their families. As you can see, this information shows that job creation is crucial. Two, uh, we need to reduce the number of homeless people. Less homeless people will be a benefit for everyone. And this is why. One, homeless people won't have to struggle to find a job. Two, they won't have to worry about dying in a parking lot. And according to Britannica schools, one of the reasons there is child labor is that homelessness leads to child labor because the people need the money to live in a house, take a shower, and for clean water and food. Now, this is why it is good for people who aren't homeless. <clears throat> One, the people who aren't homeless won't have to worry about those people who are, and they don't have to see people sleeping on cardboard or the floor. I have seen homeless people, and I have never enjoyed seeing them sleeping on the floor or collecting food from a trash can. This makes me think that the government should hire accountants for everyone who doesn't have that much money. So they can balance their money, and once they have enough money, they could pay the accountant back. Think about all the people who can live with happiness. The people who can eat food every day. The people who can sleep on a bed. And the people... And think about all the homeless people who have homes and no longer be homeless. We need to increase job creation to decrease homeless people. And think about how happy the people will be who invested in ending homelessness. All this information shows that job creation is crucial. Last, replace child labor with adult jobs and ban child labor is connected to job creation because for example if there are three cocoa farms 
and kids are working there. If we get more cocoa farms, other businesses can say not to buy from the other cocoa farms because the kids are forced to work there. And the business who have the kids working there are forced to shut, to shut down because no one is buying from there. And the kids can be free. Less child labor will be one of the things all humans must work together to stop this. This is why. Child labor has lasted for over 20 years. There are lots of causes for child labor. The most common one is that a family doesn't have enough money, so they have their so they have their kids work for someone who says they will play lots of pay lots of money. But when the kid starts working, the person says that he or she is mailing the money to the family when they are not. And the kids still believe that their family are getting the money. Do you think that kids should be working their butt off for no reason? Do you believe that we shouldn't change, change child labor and ban it forever? We need to make sure that kids don't work so much and that we should change that for adult jobs. Do you want to see kids getting hurt and not getting cared for because the people making the kids work don't care about them if they're don't care if they're about if they're hurt or not? They just want to see the kids do all the work they're supposed to do. Do you want to see kids collapsing because their owners don't let them rest? These are just some of the things happening right now. There are so many things happening to these poor kids. This makes me think, if we want to stop child labor, we need to stop people scamming families. We need to stop these companies making money out of the kids, doing all the hard work while they hurt the kids. If they stop for just 10 minutes, <sighs> these owners of the kids will hurt them a lot. We need to stop them. So these kids get the education they need in order to know simple stuff to live. We cannot deny the information. Job creation is crucial. Job creation is crucial. We should have a job for job creation everywhere. We need, we will need fewer homeless people. We need everyone to have a job and we need change child labor for adult jobs. We have a beautiful looking city. And, a com and we will have a healthy one. Realize that anyone can create a job if they're passionate about it. When you make a company, it doesn't matter if it'll blow up on the internet. It only matters that if you care about making the world a better place, you can make the world a better place. Thank you. Dance is a very useful tool when it comes to social change because it can make important messages heard without words. Everybody can dance, and if we come together, we can share our ideas and thoughts about different things. 5R has choreographed a dance that you'll be watching shortly about climate action. This dance shows how the world is suffering an hour as humans roll in it. In the first scene, we have how we are polluting the world without realizing. In the second scene, we look into the future and see how this affects the world. In the last scene, we see hope and can hopefully repair the damage we have caused. 5R thought this would be a good idea because a lot of the problems in the world link back to climate change. We believe that if we can all come together, we can fix the problem that we have created. Thank you.
First, we have right to know first versus right to. We have chosen an SDG because we feel something special about it. When we feel passionate about something, we, we start caring about it and that's why we all did a sort of good job. In all, in Earth, we have been making up all kind of hard work about our SDGs. Multiplying our writing is really two majors. In the dance, our class did it for climbing action. We, divide, we divide, decided because climbing action is most important goal. And it is about if we still do the same thing like Johnny Trash and the human is going to die on the final. And, and in Koto, we did a equal of people. The song say everybody is different in their own way. And it means every, everyone is different and it is okay. Finally, so all this many, many kind dance is climate action. And the Koto is equal. Thank you for listening and thank you for watching. We all help by being kind and supporting others. We can all be a great community. And in Fadam, we made up a really cool song about friends and peace on the Koto. In art, we made up really cool and drew really nice like artworks that represent an SDG goal. And finally, in dance, we also made up a really cool dance on the SDG goal. And it was great. You know, I should be friends with our world and not any. By treating everyone right and listening to others. And also supporting others because we don't want to be mean. Let's help our world to be a better place for everyone. In 5G, we worked on this performance for a few months. Our unit was about taking action to help with the sustainable development goals. We did this through our performance, art, and music to get this message across. We also were working for, on this in our classes and we, we even wrote persuasive essays and infographics. We hope we advocated you to take action. Thank, Thank you for watching. watching. Let's, Let's make, make our world better. Go!